Oh. So I am at a dealership here in Berlin. Yeah. And they got all kinds of cool stuff. Look at this. They have literally. Ach so, jetzt sieht doof aus, ja stimmt. Es hat vorhin geregnet, es hat geregnet, deswegen. Und dann werde ich zeigen. They have actual steel apparel. This is actually a catalog to buy clothing and stuff from, and it's all steel. That's just very cool. I mean, I'm, you guys know me. I don't really care for steel, but they they do produce good stuff. It's just not. And that right there is so cool that they've got an actual line of clothing. I dig it. I dig it too. I really, really dig it. And uh, they got this old. This is, I, I don't think this is a Contra. This is probably just an 090. Um, but, man, these things are so huge. These are just massive. But the important thing, that is mine. That right there is mine. And I'll show you a good close-up of it later. We'll, we'll dig into it. But here it is. So it's a little bit, uh, little bit noisy and everything in here. So they have, so this is the 501, but it's a 501 SX. And uh, let's see if the filter on it is different. Oh yeah, look at that, that is, I'm gonna try and buy one of those filters because that's clearly better than the flocked filter. I'm gonna try and buy one of those. We'll see how it goes. But look at this, so they got the 2511, and then they have the 2511 right here as well. And it has a little black, I've never seen this black guard on them. Um, so anyways, more about all this later, whenever I open up the uh, chainsaw. And uh, we'll see. All right. <laughs> Kid in a candy shop. Kid in a candy shop. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I feel right now. Ta-da! Hope you can read that. So, I went ahead and got it. He knocked 100 euros off the price because I'm so damn charming. <laughs> that's what I thought I was getting whenever I bought the 4510. There's nothing wrong with the 4510. It was just aimed at the homeowner market and this fine saw, just not what I was expecting. So, oh, right. so this, guys, is the Echo 4310. Uh, it probably will never see the United States market. So I'm probably going to be one of the very few people in the United States that actually has one and even puts hands on one, period. Might be the only one, but... So I'm going to figure out how to get this back to the States. I want to run it right now so bad, but I can't. But let's uh, check out what I can show you right now in this video, some of the features of it. Uh, so first off... You got to say, what is this? Now, this one is aimed at competing with the Husqvarna 543, which is actually made by Red Max. Um, and Steel has one as well. I think it's the, I want to say it's 251, but that doesn't seem right to me. But anyways, they have, uh, they have a, their version of the really small rear-handled, professional chainsaw um, so this is 42.9 cc's it weighs less than 10 pounds and let me tell you it really is light guys this is a light chainsaw um, so that's that's what it's all about it's it's a it is for the absolute professional market as light and powerful as a saw can be that's what this is supposed to be aimed towards Right? You want a good, small, powerful 
saw so that you can go through a field of pine or what is it they have over here? I, th I feel like they have a lot of beech, birch, I don't know, alder, things like that that are, that are going to grow about that big around and be long and straight. And you want to go down and, and, and cut 100 a day down or whatever. That's this saw. So it's not really a known thing in the United States because we're, I gotta say, in a lot of ways, we are a hand, two hands full, two handful of idiots. So <laughs> where we, we constantly, constantly are thinking and, and we are bombarded by bigger is better. And uh, it's just, just not always the case. And, uh, granted, if you have to cut a 30 inch oak, you don't want to whittle away with it, uh, at it with this toothpick, you know. But um, you know me. If you watch the channel, I celebrate the little stuff. It's uh, they they do ninety percent of the work, really, or they can. Um, so, anyways, the coolest thing about this, of course, it being Echo, they have really, really, really figured out the air filtration system. Let's take a look, look at this one's. It is uh, no different. My gosh, they really have it sealed up so nice. The the gap right here of this top cover, it's almost seamless. It it goes together so well. We got our cartridge style filter right here. But what you guys got to look at is look at how big the mouth is, the opening of this. I hope you can see that. I hope that comes off. Right, the 4510 is nowhere near as big as this, from what I remember. Um, I definitely don't think that it is. Uh, the I know for a fact the uh, 501 and the 490 and the 4910, their mouth going into that uh, um, carburetor is it, half the size of that. So that alone speaks volumes of this saw is expected to be a very high rever. Got to get a lot of good airflow. Great filter. Great intake setup. Totally. Wow. Right? There's, there's nothing out there that does as good a job at filtering than these newer Echoes that are coming out with wonderful, wonderful setups. So very happy about that. So that's the first thing I noticed. Bam. And I can't tell from right here. So don't 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 mistake me, but it does appear to have a much larger carb than would normally be on a 43cc saw. Um, this looks like the same size carb that's on the Echo 590. I mean, I, I don't know if it is, so but from here I'm looking at it and it's just like, oh my god, that on on this little tiny saw it gets that big mouth freaking cool already <laughs> stellar um i don't know if it has yeah it does no no it does not seem to have an easy pull starting system which is primo i hate those things really don't like them there is a little bit of a shock there like a, like in a shock absorption, but it doesn't in any way appear to be a wind up one. All right, the next big feature of this thing, well, I'll save those to the end. It does come with, it's a plastic cover, but it does have captured bar nuts. All right. So very nice indeed. We have an inboard clutch and uh, easy slip off rim sprocket um, chain drive setup. So excellent there, really excellent. Let's see if it has, yes, it has an adjustable oiler. So golden on that. Uh, has an aluminum top handle. Good spring anti-vibration, comes with a small dog. All right, so we're good there. Has a primer ball. Choke, all right, and a simple stop button. Does not have an on off switch, it has a simple stop button. Mm. Freaking love this saw already. It's got 
the awesome little grippy grip that comes with uh, a lot of these echoes it's it just is the it's best it's the best one All right and then here's the big feature these caps All right this is a feature of the echo sx models i don't think that I think that maybe you can get the 7310 in an SX model, or at least you can get it with these caps. Um, I think you can, but I haven't seen them on anything else. I don't know for sure, but uh, awesome. So far, I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to decide if I want to tell you this is better than the Husqvarna version. Or not? I don't, I don't. I don't know. The Husqvarna version is really good. It is really good. But these actually flip out, and you have leverage. The Husqvarna version is still you're just right here, and you, and you don't have any real leverage. This, you got all kinds of leverage. So fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Oh, I love the Japanese. Thank you. Same thing up front, of course. But one's black, and one is um, one is orange. Which, again, I love that. They're not both the same color. Like with the, you know, um, with the Husqvarna stuff, theirs are both dark gray. Um, so excellent. I don't know what's going on inside of the, um, uh, inside of the muffler. And I'm not, probably not going to know. Because I'm not set up right here to be really deep dive, diving into this. Let's see if I can... Uh, Maybe I'll knock that top cover off real quick. Yeah. All right, so. So, um, Guten Tag from Berlin, Germany, guys. If some of you guys who don't regularly, regularly watch the channel are having a difficult time figuring out what's going on, well... I am currently on vacation with my wife in Berlin, Germany. She is from Germany, from Berlin. Um, you wouldn't tell it. You wouldn't be able to tell it though. Talking with her, her mother is from New Hampshire, and so she grew up completely bilingual. I love how it has a sticker. Um, it's probably a it's probably a German thing. They have to have a sticker showcasing the country of origin. Maybe not. Maybe Japan only decided to put a cool sticker on their cool model. I'll say this is not the best tool. It is a bolt-on uh, cylinder on top of a split magnesium case. So this is the small professional saw. This is it. So nice. So yeah, the bolt-on cylinder, um, why that's important. Honestly, the clamshell, I, I don't think that the clamshell design denotes any... any lack of performance it's not inherently bad it's just whenever you see clamshell design the company has decided that this is their cheaper to produce model and therefore in that regard it inherently is less of a performance model but um, with the magnesium case 
you get a bolt-on top cylinder and design. This has, again, I don't know how much you can see, but it has the caps on the outside that you can remove the caps from the cylinder. And um, it is definitely going to be a closed port design. I don't know yet if it's going to be um, multi-port in the manner, you know, of the uh, four into six transfer ports like the Echo 7310 is, or if it's going to be more of a standard um, quad port design. My guess would be that it'll be a standard quad port design. It does seem to have a small uh, spark plug, which is very undesirable to me. Um, but worse things in life have happened. I believe they call that a 10 or a 12 millimeter plug. And, of course, I'm not going to be able to see anything down in there. Not, not with uh, our current setup. But you know what? Let's go ahead and pop this, um, pop the exhaust off. Why not? We're here, right? We can do it. Oh, I want to run it so bad, but they don't have any place for me to run it. And if I did, then I'd have to drain it of the gas before I shipped it home and all that jazz. It's just, just not worth it, really. Oh, for what it is, that's a nice big exhaust port. Uh, yeah, the uh, the exhaust is a completely open can. It just has a uh, um, exhaust port out the top, which is pretty typical of Echo, and um, I think it is, anyways. And it has a screen for a spark arrestor. Other than that, it's just an open can. All right, let's see if I can make out anything. Hmm. I need a flashlight or something. Hold on. All right, so there's the exhaust port. You guys aren't going to be able to see anything in there, but I did manage to see myself. Um, it does have a high ceiling on that exhaust. Can you see that? How it's like really, I don't know, like D-shaped. But anyways, um, it does have what appears to be quad ports. Um, and man... The uh, uh, the intake side ports, they seem to be really directed towards the intake tremendously. Like, they are they wrap around. Like, you see people doing port jobs, and they, they have the finger ports really going in. Well, it looks like these are set up like finger ports. I could be wrong about that, obviously. Look at me. I'm sitting here on the floor. With it uh, at a chair trying to figure this thing out but um i'm gonna go ahead and put it back together i'll we'll pause the video real quick i'll put this thing back together and then i'll show you the last feature that it has that i really love Okay, so I was able to look on the carburetor, um, and it is an HD, it's a Walbro, HD 68. So I don't know, um, I think that's big. Because I know on the 
on the Poland uh, 54 cc's, the old ones that I like, the Poland high tops, they had an HDA 49. And um, the larger ones, the Benford Bad Boy, the, the, the Tim Allen Bad Boy, 3750, they had an HDA 167, I believe. And that's a 60cc saw. I don't know if the 167 correlates to this being a 68. I don't know. So look it up, please. Somebody put it in the comments. An HD 68 carburetor. Um, it could be a 6B, but I don't think it is. I, I think I, I put on my reading glasses and everything, and it looks like it's a 68. HD 68. All right. Um, there was something else I was going to say about it. Oh, yeah. You know it's serious whenever they have the failing lines. All right. They don't do this on homeowner saws ever. So this is actually, you know, this is a professional saw. It's really great. Anyways, the last, but definitely not least, it came with a Sugihara lightweight 16 inch bar. Mm. So sweet. <laughs> so it's uh, another thing that's pretty nifty. I think is you know pretty nifty is this bar from what I can tell looking at it this bar is um a double pattern this is a small mount husky pattern and it's also it can oil it can oil through these holes right here or which are for your um that's the 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 the, the stud goes through there to push your bar in and out so your adjustment holes right Whenever they oil through that hole to the top rail, that's very much a Poland. Um, the KO41 um, uh, uh, tail mount, right? But they also have this little hole here. So on the back side, it's up top, which is very much Husqvarna mount. Um, that's how they get theirs. So... It seems to be a dual pattern bar. Um, I love how it says Echo on it. I love that it's a Sugihara. And it also has a hole right here, which is for your file size. I just, I mean, I don't think that's special or anything, but I've never seen it on any of the stuff we get in the United States. So, comes with an Oregon chain. This is a, um, yeah, it's their low kickback. Whatever. <clears throat> yeah, it's not even full chisel. It's semi-chisel low kickback. Which, I mean, you gotta expect that stuff. Probably not a bad chain, but Come on.
there we go, it's good enough. I'm not even going to be running it, so. There she is. Fucking deadly, eh? <laughs> this is going to be my little ninja assassin. Uh, I love it. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Now that's a proper small saw. Deadly. <laughs> yeah. That's wicked. <sighs> that was what I was hoping the 4510 was going to be. Again, nothing wrong with the 4510. Nothing wrong. But this is the blade that sneaks up in the night. Get ya! <laughs> can't wait to run it. Man, I can't wait to run it. That is going to be... Oh, nice. Alright, well... I've had a full day in Germany. Going all over the place, checking out all the different stuff. The McCulloch saws were really awesome. Um, really awesome just to, to, to see those. Just fantastic. Just wow. You know, the name is still alive. Even if it is just a husky product of some fashion, you know, hopefully it will make it back over to the United States. But honestly, I'm not sure if they will do that or not. Um, because from my understanding, so when McCulloch was big, right, whenever they were in their heyday, they were the largest manufacturer in the, on the planet. And so they had plants all over Europe producing McCulloch chainsaws. And so the name, the brand was still, was strong over here. Poland did not have that. Poland never had that. And whenever Electrolux took over, everything that would have been Poland that was sold in, in Europe um, was actually branded Partner. And um, everything that would have been sold in the States, right, under the name of Partner, became Poland Pro. Uh, and so in that regard... They're kind of the same, even though they're very much different saws. But basically, well, like whenever they decided to sell the partner 65cc, I, I don't even know what they called it over here in in in, in Europe. Um, but they decided they were going to sell that in the United States. It got branded as a Poland Pro 415. Now, the larger CC versions of those took on the Johnson Red name, and the Johnson Red and Partner are really tied close as well. I know this stuff, guys. But like over here, basically the Wild Thing chainsaws, those are those are Partners, a different version of Partner chainsaws. Um, my uh, 4620, I believe, has a Partner equivalent. The uh, high tops that I like, the smaller ones, the 46 through 54 cc's, they were sold over here as a partner, partner chainsaws. So anyways, whatever, that's getting off a, a little bit off the subject. Uh, one more thing that I, I did find that was very unique is um, the 501 Echo and the 4910 Echo. Um, they're sold over here, and you can get them. I don't know if it's an upgraded model or if this is just how they come, but you can get the 501 SX, just like this is an SX. And the filter design on those on the 4910 and the 501, we know it's it's shite. It's no good, right? Well, they have an upgraded filter for the 501 SX, and I will be ordering me three of those. And um, deciding how I'm going to, I know for one, I mean, Charlie, I'm going to send you one, buddy. Um, but uh, yeah, so they have a better filter. Is it still great? It doesn't seem to be. 
but it definitely does seem much better than that flocked filter that comes with the 4910. So anyways, long little video. Hope that you guys enjoyed it a little bit. Urgh, I'm going to have fun with this little guy. Yeah, it's look at that. It is very lightweight. Look, I mean, look at that. I mean, granted, I'm massively strong, but <laughs> but yeah, this is a very lightweight little saw that's just going to be a ninja. Just fucking deadly.